What is up, my feline friends? No, my feline loving friends? That's not cool. Friends of furry felines. <laughs> uh, which works for everybody unless you have a hairless cat. Anyway, what's up? Today, uh, we're gonna talk about something that I always geek out on, and there's always a problem, but I think I have a solution to the problem. Uh, suspense. What could it possibly be? Okay, anyway. Today we are going to talk about catification, a barrier to catification, and a solution to the barrier. Let's start first with catification. If you don't know yet, and there's plenty of videos on this channel all about it, there's a playlist you can go check out, but let me just cut to the cliff notes here. Catification is the idea of environmental enrichment for cats, but catification itself is not just the environmental enrichment. It's the other side, the other side being you, and it having to work aesthetically, budget-wise, and all that for you. It's the meeting point. That's catification. Why is environmental enrichment so, so important for your cat? The answer lies in the raw cat. You know, the ancestor that I've spoken so much about and the fact that that ancestor and your cat, there's a string that connects them. Everything that your cat does on any given day is informed by the raw cat. And the raw cat has things that make the raw cat feel totally confident. That's called cat mojo. If the raw cat is happy, your cat's happy. So one of those things about mojo that is a given is ownership of territory. Owning this defined place of square footage. It's like humans putting that little white picket fence around our homes. It defines us. And when we look at that fence, we go, yeah, yeah, I live here, you know? Just like that. For your cat, part of that is how they see the room. So for instance, if your cat's sitting right here on the arm of this, this chair, it, eventually their scent will get in it and they're gonna feel a sense of ownership. But here's the thing, ownership for a cat is not just here, it's there. It's there, it's there, it's everywhere. It's not about the ground, it's from the floor to the ceiling because cats own the sky. Catification becomes that way of uniting floor to ceiling, every place in between, and give that raw cat and your cat the cat mojo to say, I own this place, ah. What is the barrier in your mind to catifying space, knowing how important it is? Well, one of those things could be the concept of paralysis by analysis, that you actually, you know, knowing that I've had these beautiful examples, we've got two books filled with beautiful examples of uh, catification. And if you watched My Cat From Hell over the years, you've seen us do these incredible transformations of spaces, I mean, incredible, and Kate Benjamin comes in there with me, we go, hmm, what are we gonna do? And kaboom, don't forget, we had a budget, you know, it being TV, we had uh, people to help put it together, cause, you know, TV, it was a whole thing. You know, I always thought to myself, are we sending a message that it's just too much? And so here you are, sitting in this room in your house, you know, the living room, which is a, the, a, an amazing place to start, socially significant, cats are always gonna be there anyway, and you're looking around and you're going, okay, well, I don't know how to start this. And then you just don't. I will say this, number one, that quote that I love so very much, don't let perfection be the enemy of good. So let's just find that place, that place in the room to plant the flag of catification and say, let's just let the enrichment begin. Let's make our cats happy. Let's make it easy on me because I got a whole day full of stuff I got to do <laughs> instead of looking at a blank wall. Think about urban planning. Think about the fact that you just founded a city. This city right here is Mojoville. I now declare this Mojoville. And now you've got this space and you got to start designing flow to your world. Well, one of the things you wanna think about is how are you gonna get around that world? What's the important parts of that world? And think about it in terms of just, you know, traffic, right? So we've got stoplights, we've got yield signs, we've got traffic circles, we've got, you know, the dead end sign, you know, that we don't want, but we have stop signs. We have uh, on ramps, off ramps, all of that, and the cat's super highway. What I'm gonna talk about today is the on-ramp, that first place that we plant our urban planning flag in Mojoville. One word, windows.
I'm waiting for like a fanfare, like bugles. Why, why is this the one place that's so important? The first thing is cats are like little feline sundials. If there's a sunny spot in the house, there's gonna be a cat in that sunny spot. I don't care if it's on the floor or the ceiling, there's going to be a cat in that spot. They love the heat, the vitamin D that comes in there, they just feel that nice, warm loveliness. Where is it gonna come through? Where's the sun coming through? What is that? Yes, the window. The second reason cats love the window is cat TV. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's a TV screen and out there is, you know, Netflix. There is bird feeders. There are birds in the sky. There are critters on the ground and if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't know if there's that many birds or critters or anything outside my window. Well, that's what bird feeders are for, bird baths, anything like that. Cat TV is there waiting for you. And again, you might think to yourself, well, how is this enriching to my cat to watch cat TV? It's still engagement. The raw cat is still engaged. That hunter is still engaged. You've seen your cat go, eh, 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 you know, that, that thing. The raw cat is still engaged. I know you might think that that's awfully frustrating. It's not, that's why you play with your cat later in the day, but right now it's just a way of engaging them. So now we've got the sundial, we have got cat TV, we got passive raw cat engagement. You understand now how the window is just your really close buddy pal. So, have I piqued your interest yet? Why yes, Jackson, you have totally piqued my interest. But how do I catify a window? Oh, I am so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. Let's talk about how to catify that window. The first thing I need you to know, because this is another source of paralysis sometimes, it can work at any budget. You wanna spend some money, talk to your aesthetic, we can totally do that. You wanna just not spend any money, we can do that or somewhere in the middle. So the first thing you think about when it comes to, I don't wanna spend any money, DIY this thing, man. I mean, look, look at this chair right here, right? If I just push this right up against the window, then I got someplace for me to sit and my cat's hanging back there. A lot of us do that anyway. The couches are up against the living room windows, chairs or whatever, but that's a great place to start. But you can do anything as long as it's window height. There is something that you can move into the window so that your cat can just sit there. See how simple that is? Now you wanna put the cherry on top, then you put one of those nice little cat beds. We call it a chill mat. And you can get one at the Jackson Galaxy store, just saying. But you can also, oh, that's right, Jackson, I don't wanna spend any money. Take a favorite blanket that your cat loves to sit on, a sweatshirt, something like that. Even better, something that smells like you. It doesn't matter, as long as they sit on it. And by the way, sometimes cats just don't like to sit on anything. That nice, cool console, end table, they're fine with that too. Let your cat tell you what they want, but in the meantime, you see what I'm saying? You don't have to spend anything to start planting your flag in Mojoville. And speaking of letting your cat tell you, let their body tell you as well, because you have to tailor anything that goes into the window based on your cat's potential physical capabilities or disabilities. If you've got a senior cat and you're asking them to jump up on something, that might be asking too much. If that senior cat jumps down from that surface, then if, the, if it's a wooden floor or something like that, their legs go whoop you know, and so we wanna mitigate that as well. So think about perhaps a ramp that goes up to that table. And again, no money, we're talking about a two by four. We're talking about anything that you could just put against that uh, end table and it's sturdy. It's all you care about. Or little steps, you know. Uh, Again, if you wanna spend a little bit of money, pet steps are actually, you can get them very inexpensively, but again, you can do anything. Just get your cat up into that window. Same thing goes for kittens, same thing goes for blind cats or cats that have something like CH, cerebellar hypoplasia, which makes them a little wobbly. Just work it so that your cat can work it. Okay, so now we did the no money. Now let's spend just a little bit of money. Just a little bit of money. Let's talk about something like the Kitty Sill is, is a, a product that I like, or anything like it. You've seen the ones with the suction cups. They can be very inexpensive. Kitty Sill is one that actually uh, attaches into the windowsill itself. It's covered in fleece. Hello, you're done. One warning about the suction cup, guys. Depending on the company and the product itself, the suction cups can sometimes give way. So a little bit of money, maybe just a little bit more. Don't go for the very cheapest thing that you find on Amazon. Read the reviews, make sure, because especially considering the weight of your cat. Do you need help? 
I got you. All it takes is that suction cup coming off once and your cat's never gonna go there again. You know, also depending on the height of the window, I mean, a lot of you guys have windows that are either floor to ceiling, you lucky guys, or it can be, you know, even like a couple of feet off the ground. There are these wonderful uh, cardboard loungers. You know, they're made out of strong corrugated cardboard, which are fantastic because they absorb scent. Uh, they become those scent soakers that we really want in anything that's in the house. Yes, I have another made up word. The scent soaker is something, oh wait, hold on, that soaks in your your cat scent gives them that sense of mojo and belonging. Cardboard is a great thing for that, and again, not expensive at all. I really, really, really would love you to do is the investment in cat trees. And I just want you to remember, depending on how much money you want to spend, they can be not expensive at all. And they can be very expensive. And again, it's about your aesthetic. As long as they're sturdy, that's all you care about. Do you have a cat tree in your house? Move it into a window or right adjacent to the window. So even if they're in the corner, they can get that sunshine, watch the cat TV. It doesn't have to be dead center in the middle of the window, but it, least it will get use. If you've got a cat tree that's not getting used in your house, I can guarantee you the best chance you have of it being uh, utilized by your cat is in the window. But if you don't have a cat tree, please get one. And it doesn't have to be floor to ceiling. Again, no paralysis by analysis here. Go for something that you don't think is ugly at least, that at least gets them window height. It's all we care about. Go for ideal. Again, don't let perfection be the enemy of good. Let's go back to the idea of urban planning, shall we? Yes, we shall. We're going to start building the, the roads around Mojoville. Well, guess what? This window now becomes the on-ramp. It is the center of this whole thing. From here springs the rest of catification, the cat superhighway, the thing that allows your cat to just traverse the entire room without touching the floor. That is the kind of thing we're looking for, but we're not looking for it today. You have done everything that you need to do right now to make sure that your cat's mojo goes As a matter of fact, if you haven't done it now, go. Go to the window and put something in it, and you tell me. Put something in the comments tomorrow. Did my cat go in the window? I, I, yes, your cat did, but if no, I wanna hear about it too. And if leaving a comment isn't good enough because you've had <laughs> a revelation, then I would love for you to go to this link right here, and I'll put the link in the description as well, and send me a video describing what you've done, showing me your cat in the window, making me feel good because I gave you something that actually worked for both you and your cat. And speaking of making me happy, which I know is your primary drive, <laughs> but it would be great if you subscribe to the channel, if you left a comment, if you really like this and gave it a thumbs up, it's what makes this channel tick and ticking helps you and your cat, not ticks, ticks do not. Was there a place to cut in there? That was, I'm sure there yeah, was, right? Yeah. All right, my friends, that is your window of op. I, I'm so overjoyed with that. All right. All right, my friends, that is your window of opportunity for the day. Like I said, you're going to thank me, and so will your cat. Until next time, all light, all love, all cat mojo to you. Bye, guys.